tab, go you here, um, space. Now, why is it not? Okay, there it is. It's like, why are you not grabbing? Okay. Um, and then I'll throw, I guess, 36 in there, whatever. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It is Lotus here, back with another episode from, from Steam Next Fest. We are playing Odd Sparks, an automation adventure today. It's going to be pretty interesting. We'll see how it goes. Welcome to our demo. This demo version of Odd Sparks contains about three plus hours of content. Holy smokes. Multiplayer is available, but still in beta. Early access starts on April 24th, 2024, with a lot more content. Have fun. Okay, sweet. So three plus hours, which we are definitely not going to play through all three plus hours uh, today. Um, also, I don't know how far we'll get and I don't, if you guys want to see more episodes of this, I can do a full playthrough of the demo. Um, but Early Access will be coming out on April 24th, which we may, uh, we might dabble in when the time comes. But uh, make sure if, if you guys would like, definitely add it to your wish list um, over on Steam. Um, for when the game does uh, release. Oh, actually it's in Early Access. The plan release date is April 24th. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is a, um, it's a designed automated, it design automated workshops for odd and adorable sparks to carry and craft everything, including more of themselves. Lead your squad of sparks into combat, explore a strange fantasy world in single player or online co-op, unearth the ancient mysteries of sparks. It's online co-op, multiplayer automation, crafting. So <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, add this to your wish list uh, when the game comes. This is part of Steam Next Fest. So yeah, let's uh, jump right on into it and uh, check it out. So you got character editor. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see, skin color. Yeah, that's fine. Eye color. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, hair type. Okay. Okay, let's go teeth, I guess. Hair color. Okay. <clears throat> Not bad. Oh, you can actually go pretty in-depth with a uh, customization here, which is pretty cool. Clothing, you got poncho. Okay, not too much of a difference there. Poncho pattern. Okay, let's stick with leaves. You can change the colors of it. <clears throat> Decoration. Oh, cool. Let's go double. Bruce oval. Okay. Sweet. Um, e e e. Okay, so we can't go. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. Uh, save and close. Village name. Loaded. Oh, you get different uh, seeds as well? Okay. Let's do... Uh, yeah, let's stick with that one. Sure, why not? Sure, why the heck not? Let's check it out and see uh, see how it goes. See how it goes. Okay. It is a calm and quiet day, and you are relaxing on your bench. All of your daily tasks are done, and the warm sun gently lulls you to a midday nap. You dream of an adventure, of a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the frontier village. When suddenly, an intense crash comes down the field and wakes you up. Okay. Ooh. So WASD to move around. You got your little compass up here. Looks like we got some stuff going on down here. Uh, use the large building to store your items. It's clear there's no way to fix the shed and being cleaned up in the area. As you clean up the debris and shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. This must have been the thing that crashed into it and destroyed your shed. Unsure of what it is, you picked up the strange metal object and put it away for now. You should first replace your shed. Okay, so... 
zoom out in and out um scroll the mouse wheel to zoom oh middle mouse button my middle mouse button is horrendous when it comes to needing to rotate the camera so that's no bueno cool complete the quest to progress progression and pin quests are the same for every player in the save uh find quest givers with the map manage quests with the quest log whoa okay this is cool oh my god the map is like freaking huge dude holy crap our focus player focus village ping on map woodsman it looks like the woodsman is what uh oh my gosh dude Manage quests with L. Finds the woodman, talk to the woodsman, complete rebuilding the shed. Okay. Oh, gather if you hold on space. Oh, interesting. Okay. Someone crashed into your shed? Well, sure, I can fix. I can teach you how to fix one up one. A new one up? Holy crap. Woodsman will help you rebuild the shed, but require some wood logs. You can get wood logs from the logger. Don't forget to collect the logs out of the logger. Or harvest them from bushes around the village. Deliver items to quest givers by putting them in the storage. Okay, cool. Uh, great, just uh, get me some wood logs from the loggers around me. I'll prepare you some saw timber to... Okay, so this is where... Okay, interesting. Um, so I guess we will... Okay, how do I... Okay, well I can gather you. How do I get the wood logs though? Mm -hmm. I guess I can go in here. Get wood logs from the logger. Oh, from the logger. Ah! Craft. Click, 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 click. So we need five wood logs. Oh, or we can just hold. That's probably better if we just hold. Okay. So we need five. I'm going to get ten just to be on the safe side. Because I have a feeling we're going to need wood logs for other things as well. So we'll get ten. Um, transfer item, boom. Come over here, we'll open you up. We will control split five, place you here. Back. Talk to you, sweet, we got you done, perfect. Here's the saw timber you need, now all you have to do is this. Okay. Open build menu, place shed near home. Oh. By the books, it's because I'm standing out of my research, haha. -ha. Cool. Cool. So it wants me to place down my shed over here. What if I want to place it down in, in the same area that it was before? Okay. That was easy. Okay. Talk to the divine researcher. Well, funny enough, I already did. Need my help with the weird thing? I love weird things. Let me see. Oh, what if I poke it right? The strange piece of metal you picked up from the broken shed lit comes alive. It wraps itself around the brooch in the staff, and suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind. Dazed, you looked at the ancient tablet nearby of the researcher and realized you can understand the ancient writings. The ancient tablet seems particularly erect, but you can def definitely read some of the text. Something about magic, devastation, a spark, something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. You can understand it? This is incredible! Amazing news! I owe... You must look at the village monument for me. Okay. Go without me. I'll just slow you down. You can come back and tell me what you find. Uh, okay. Stand the carvings of the divine rune, although it seems like the rune is particularly wrecked. It seems to say something about magic and some kind of devastation. It also mentions a spark of some sparks. Something about hope. You can't make much out of it. Okay. 
Cool. So I guess we'll head over here. Um, what does she have? Hello, my dear. Have you eaten? Have a cookie. So that's the mayor, it looks like. Okay. Examine the village monument looms above you. Quietly and with the weight of its years behind it, you extend your hand to the strange metal in your brush radiates a soft light. Suddenly, the carvings of the stone itself begin to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you see as writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all of the information. Something about being last uh, assessed several oh, million years ago. The word danger catches your eye. Clearly, the monument is much more than you had all assumed. The world settlement for a moment. The world... The words settle for a moment. Dangerous levels of corruption aether detected. Cleansing pulse routine initiated. You can hear the monument rattle. Something inside is trying to happen, but nothing happens. Etherically, uh, cleansing failed. Functioning keys missing. Cleansing routine recommended. Danger of life critical. A piece of stone moves aside to reveal a handful of empty key slots. You should tell the divine research about everything you found. So it looks like there's nine keys that you're going to have to find. Okay. Sweet. I wonder how much, uh, it says that there's three, I wonder how much of the, this demo, like how far can you actually get? You describe everything you've seen from the village monument activated by the divine researcher. The strange text, the missing spark keys, how I tried to do a cleansing pulse but failed. The divine researcher, natural smiles, falls as he tries to digest everything. Okay. Self, uh, village monument, clear corrupted aether, seems odd. Okay. Uh, sure. Suppose we'll have to find the missing spark keys first, and perhaps more. I'll see what I can dig up in my keynotes. This village has existed for decades. Alright, cool. Uh, but for now, there's a lot of ancient shrines that you can translate. Uh, technically allow you to go there. Quite dangerous, but I won't tell anyone. Okay. Old mine shafts, ancient shrines, and golden statues on the top. You have my pressure position to go. Have a fun adventure. Okay. Okay, so it's just basically... Okay. So I guess we will... Old mine shafts. Activate the village monument. Alright. So I guess we'll head up to the old mine shaft. And see what we got going on up here. Ooh, who are you? Quartermaster? Okay. The old mine shaft. See what we got going on here. Start looking at the shrine, but as you look closer, more evident that the shrine was some kind of machine. You extend your hand, the strange metal in your brush radiates a soft light with a touch of the machine rumbles as it works by itself. <clears throat> Short moment, the machine stops and displays some writing. A stumpy spark. Okay. Wooden logs deliver Aether Shard. Once Aether Shard, which you can get by hunting animals you don't know how to hunt, maybe you can find a corpse somewhere else in the woodlands. Touch the shrine, put a small item inside, you leave it for now. Okay. Carries a constant supply of fuel. Okay, so I guess I'll gather this. Oh. Okay. It's cool how it uses the corpse of the, um, the one thing that, uh, like the one little monster that you see walking around. Okay. Oh, so case like our notebook. Etheric pellet, aether shard. Uh, let's grab a, a little bit more of this for wood. I think we have, what, four wood? Eight wood, okay. Yeah, those little guys. Okay. Me unlocked the demo. Oh! So those are waypoints. Interesting. Call them Stumpy Sparks, they're the first step in making it right. Okay, let's do you. Let's 
to you. Complete. Okay, moves into life, takes the item, begins to fix itself. For some kind of test and is checking that everything still works. Suddenly it spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine notes that the Stumpy Spark has been immediately activated as part of the tests. The Stumpy Spark stares at you, and it seems ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done... With a puff of magic, the Stumpy Spark turns into a wooden disc that fits into your hand. With the spark deactivation successful, the shrine claims that it is now fully operational and ready to be, used to be assigned sparks. So if changes, the lock can fit the discs appear. You can place it in, and the Stumpy Spark begins to follow you. Whoa. Okay. So then, in aim mode, you can throw sparks equipped in your active sparks bar. You can also call back spark a spark to cancel their current order. Some objects require special sparks to harvest them. Read more in the notebook. Most basic of the sparks. Can't do a lot. Tries hard. A good listener. Quartermaster. Blunt. Okay. So throw a spark. Call it back. Harvest pine saplings. Okay. So I guess I have to probably attack these smaller ones? Yeah, the smaller ones, okay. So it looks like if we get more wood, more aether shards, we can make more of the stumpy guys. Okay, this is cool. Okay, dude, that is cool. That is cool. Okay. I guess I'll gather these myself. Okay, cool. Oh, there's stone here too? I didn't even realize that. Oh, it's gravel? I'm sure we're going to need this for something. Stone, broken off piece of stone. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'll throw you over there. I can't gather it myself. So let's come here. Two, five... In one, craft another one of you. Okay. And then we'll have two, which should hopefully help a little bit. Okay, dude, this is pretty cool. Fill a spark slot in the Stumpy Spark Shrine. Okay. Um, complete quest of Divine Researcher. Okay. Okay, cool. So we got that going. Um, so he'll automatically craft more sparks, but we'll need more sparks to get wood and the aether, uh, the aether shards. Complete you. Find research on everything. Okay, especially the real strange creature that came out after I fixed it. It called sparks, you say. Okay, cool. Activate the village, village monument. All right. Um, I should probably unpin you. 
because I don't know how to do that yet. Okay, she doesn't have anything for me. Oh, I guess back to the wood. The lumberjack, the woodsman. Okay, do all the work for you. Tell me more. I see this twinkle in his eye. Ancient shrine, how the sparks work. Okay, oh, I see. <clears throat> I want to try a logger for your little sparks. Create a logger that the sparks can work in. Wait, I'll need 10 wood logs, 5 stone, 2... Okay. Okay, so... 10 wood logs, 5... Okay, so I need... 2 more sparks... And another... Okay. Should be easy enough. Whoa. Of course, the logger building to harvest. Okay, get you going. So I need five of you. I can get the stone myself while they get the logs. Gather a little bit more extra stone, because I'm sure we're going to need it for something. Okay. Okay. I think I have plenty of the aether uh, as well. Okay. Yeah, we'll get these, and then... And then after we get these, we will... See about moving on. This is cool. This is a cozy little game. If you guys want to see more of this when the game comes out, definitely uh tap the subscribe button. Um, because I'm definitely gonna, probably gonna do a playthrough when this game comes out. Because this game looks like a lot of fun. Definitely a, a cozy little game going on here. Um, maybe I'll even start streaming like cozy games over here on the on YouTube or something if that's something that you guys would like. Um, let's get you going. Not bad. So I know I'm going to need this, but I'm, I, I'm going to need a lot of the wood. Like, I know I'm going to need a lot of wood. Because it takes 10. Oh, what's that? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, he'll pick up the... The wood and bring it to me? Oh my goodness, dude. That's cool. So we need 10 wood. And two of you. Uh, 1.9 minutes and he'll make it. What if I throw two in here? It'll make 3.8 per minute. Okay, cool. Cool. It's actually pretty sweet. Pretty dang sweet. Alright, so we almost have both of these done. Boom. I'll throw you back here. Grab both of you. And I'll peace out for the time being. Because we have all the stone, all the wood that we need, and we have the sparks. I only plan on doing one episode of this, but shoot, this game's actually pretty fun. I might actually end up doing another uh, another episode of it. We only need one, and then we need three. Boom, that's done. Of course, since they're so small, they'll need a low table, and it's done. One very important thing you'll need etheric orb to build the logger. They offset the aether in the giant trees, you see. Don't really need to know what that means, but uh, I'll tell you. I've personally tried harvesting these giant trees without an etheric counterbalance, and it took two whole months to regrow my mustache. Etheric orb is the uh, Billfin's corpses. Okay, so I don't think I've found the etheric 
orbs. So what do I have? Oh, I have two of them. Okay. Building to infinitely harvest logs and more from a giant tree. Okay, so now we can build this, actually. Oh, we have a quest here. Huh. Those are dolls of yours. The woodsman was showing them off. They follow instructions, right? Uh. You think they can carry stuff, too? Oh, dirt paths? Barrel? Deliver three stumpy sparks. Okay. Oh, the uh, let's run down here and see what quest she has as well. Because if she also needs stumpy sparks, then we can... Uh... Huh. Oh, you look like you're being very busy with... Uh, beetle thing today. Uh, okay. Uh, Mab tells me the tricks and take the bigger picture. Okay. Quest overview. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. So tier one. Okay. So this is cool. It tells you the the quests that you're on. So these two are done. It's we're working on these ones and then, right? Oh no, the ones that are lit up are done. Okay. Cool. Oh dear, have you eaten? Here's a cookie. Okay, so this is pretty dang cool, man. So then I guess we'll set um, the big old logger up, like right here. Right? Open. Oh my god, and it's so quick. You get 30 per minute. And then we'll run over here. And we can actually build another one as well. Uh, let's do, let's throw 10 of you in here with two of you. To get two more sparks. Oh, and I can just hold the button and collect. Oh, that's cool. I want to get another one in here. I think another one in this guy as well. Okay. And then I'm gonna run up here and gather some more stone because I, I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna need the stone here pretty soon. And I don't wanna I don't wanna constantly run back and forth. It doesn't look like there's a weight limit. It does look like there is a an inventory uh like limit though. So you can only carry like so much. I don't know how many of one item you can hold though. But this is pretty cool. Okay. Get those, then we'll come up here. We have wood going, so I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> I do have a feeling though that we're gonna run out of um, the Aether um, stuff at some point. Okay, this is a cool little map. Oh, what are you? Oh, ancient container. Okay. That's cool. Oh, this map's actually a decent size. Leaves. A small bundle of leaves. Okay. Looks like we can build another one here. Another one there. So you can have two we can have two more. At least. Um, three, four more. Okay. Oh, these ones are like cobwebbed. Okay. Interesting. This map's actually pretty big. Even the mine map is big. Okay, I don't want to go too, too far. Should probably run down here and throw some more stuff into our uh, spark creator there. Oh. So we're going to have to come up over this way. Oh, here's another one. 
Oh. Wood planks. There's two more there. Oh, what is this one? This is a new one. Animating force for the dark sparks, the etheric distillation process. Extend your hand, touch the shrine, strange metal radiates to the soft light as the machine begins to hum that comes to life. The machine clarifies that it's capable of making aether shards, but it's currently broken. Okay. Well, guess what? We have five aether shards. Okay, so it looks like we can only have 40 per stack. Royals takes, uh, begins to work itself, seems to be running some kind of test and is checking everything and still. Um, it seems to have refined the aether pellet, aetheric pellet into aether shards. Claims it is now fully functional and is ready to use. Okay, cool. So you put these into here. Oh, interesting. Okay. I wonder if... So that's cool. I wonder if there is... Uh, you must be able to automate these little things to get the aether, uh, aetheric pellets out of it. In one way or another. Um, so we got two of you. I want to throw... Let's throw 20 more wood in and then four of you. Split. Bam. Um, and then I'll throw... Split one of you in here. One of you in here. Whoa, what happened to the active spark over here? Oh, it can only hold 20. Oh, it can only hold 20. Interesting. So, I mean, I guess only having one makes sense. So we have three here. I, I'm going to wait for these two to finish because then we can hand the three in to the quartermaster and we can still have uh, a couple on us. Okay. This is pretty cool, though. I do like this game. Okay. Cool. Press K. We got a wooden panel. A large wooden panel constructed out of pieces of timber. Okay. So now we got five of you. Head on back. Um, split. Three of you here. Here, complete you. Pick up items, buildings, they pass. They drop off items, buildings, they pass. I can use them. Also pick up items on the path if it's in their way, but they only walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Uh, here, let me show you how to make the dirt paths. Okay. Huh. Try it out. I mean, how it works. Okay. So what exactly am I doing? Build a logger. Collect the logger to Stumpy Spark Shrine. Throw Stumpy Sparks on path. Transport wooden logs. <clears throat> craft Stumpy Spark. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So we need to craft another Stumpy Spark and then 10 more on top of that. Okay, so let's make um, B a uh, path here. To here. Okay. And then B. Oh, no. Space. Bam. Bam. Oh, my God, dude. That's why it's weird. Okay, so let's, um, can I? Uh, hmm. Oh, that sucks. Can we? Path tool, build menu, map, quest, log, quest, radial menu, 
movement, uh, ping rush, next spark, edit constructions is T. Why are you there? <clears throat> then we'll do B, path, Let the flip. Why can't I? Can I not destroy this path? Why can't I build there? Ah! Dude, I hate how you can't destroy paths. Like, what the flip, dude? I should be able to destroy paths. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? Screw this. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Uh, B. Path. Here. Here. There we go. Jeez Louise, dude. Get rid of you. There. That's better. Um. Tab. Throw you here. Um. Space. Now, why is it not? Okay, there it is. It's like, why are you not grabbing? Okay. Um, and then I'll throw, I guess, 36 in there, whatever. 20, dang, we got a lot of wood. So you can only hold 20 wood, 20 stone, but you can hold a crap load of the uh, spark stuff going on here. Okay, let's see, what do we got going on here? Constructions, barrel. Place to store their items in. Oh, okay. Gameplay, okay, cool. So I need you guys. So let's see. Let's do Oh, li literally they only took them one hit? Okay, cool. Okay, that's pretty nifty. The ruins of small ancient workstation. Okay. All right, let's not throw you there.
Okay, interesting. <laughs> Dude, you could launch them. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. What do we need for this guy again? Just wood. So I wonder if... I wonder if we were to hook <clears throat> this path up from here to here, if it would do the same. <clears throat> okay, just dump you there. Um, I think I'm going to build a barrel as well, if we can. How much can this hold? Quite a bit, actually, it looks like. <clears throat> Ooh, I guess, actually... I want you here. Oh, I can't place it there. Now I'm curious, will they pick it up? Okay, they don't put Lisa directly in there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I have no idea how many. Okay, I have 10. Um, What do I need for this quest? All right, I'm done with it. Okay. Uh, okay, so it looks like I can only have 10 in a stack of sparks for my uh, one thing. Okay. Come over here, turn you in. Take this as gift. Cool. Now what? Uh, back to the lumberman. Okay, uh, sparks, craft with it. A saw bench, a hundred wooden logs. Okay. <laughs> that should actually be pretty easy to get. Turn back over here. Sparks unique, spark machines. 10 stumpy sparks and five aether shards, except. Okay. So I have five of you already. I have two of you. Oh, well. The heck, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. This I could see be could be a lot of fun uh, with multiplayer. Whoa. That's cool. Yeah, I could definitely see this being a lot of fun with multiplayer. Cool, so I have you. And then, collect all of you. So I need a hundred wood. And then I think I'm gonna build a different logger to supply this one. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, like you got two, two, three right here that you can have for loggers. Four or five. You definitely have a lot of loggers going on here. Oh, look at this, another teleporter. Oh, you can actually climb up those. Cool. Berries. Oh. Oh my gosh. That must be the Belefin that we need to take out. 
at some point. There's birch. More giant trees. Oh, what are you? An ancient rune tablet? Self-defense with the corrupted aether gone. The spunnies aren't attacking. Mantis stag? Dude, those actually look scary AF. Choppy spark? This shrine is kind of a machine that can make a choppy spark, but it's currently broken. So we need 15 stumpy sparks. I have no idea how to get wood blades yet. No idea how to get wood blades. Whoa. Etheric stuck clump? Okay. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright then. I do want to say, if you guys have enjoyed this content, make sure you guys definitely tap that like button down below. Comment down below if you also want, want to uh, see more of this. Um, I can definitely um, continue playing on uh, through the rest of the demo, um, if that's something that you guys would like. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you guys do end up wanting, wanting to see more of this. Um, I can also do a full playthrough when the game officially release i don't know if it's going to be officially released on april 24th or if it's just going to be like early access i think it's going to be early access but we can do a full playthrough of that when the, the game comes out but yeah hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content um as much as i have been um you guys can wish list this over on uh, steam and uh yeah hopefully you guys uh, end up enjoying it because this has been it's definitely a cozy little uh like game that you can easily play um not too stressful or anything very uh relaxing and uh whatnot and it's cool it's it's definitely like a start to automating like the automation is pretty pretty simple but cool in, in a way as well um let's see but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this um and uh this has been uh one heck of a game i'm lodius this has been odd sparks and automation adventure um and yeah hopefully uh you guys do enjoy it and uh yeah i'll probably try and play through uh, some of this some more of this if uh we're able to after your steam next fest ends but once again thank you guys all for watching and hopefully i will catch you guys in the next one peace out